Hey there, math explorers. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of fractions greater than one. But what does that mean, you ask? Well, it's when the number on top, or the numerator, is bigger than the number on the bottom, or the denominator. Let's explore how that works with some fun examples. First things first, let's take a look at a number line. You see, a number line can go beyond one, just like magic. When it does, it can show us fractions greater than one. But how do we find these fractions? Let me show you. Step one, determine the denominator. We do this by counting the spaces, or jumps, from zero to one. In our first example, if we count, we'll find four spaces. So, our denominator is four. Next, let's find our numerator. We count the spaces from zero all the way to the point that's marked on the line. In this case, that little dot is at position six. So, our fraction is six over four, six, four. Now, here's a cool math trick. Since our denominator is four, we split a model, like a pizza, into four slices. But wait, since our numerator is six, we need more than one pizza. So we draw another one, and voila! We have six fourths, which is a fraction greater than one. Let's try another one together. Count the spaces from zero to one. What's our denominator? Yes, it's four again. Now count to the dot, and yes, it's seven. So we have seven ton or four. Remember, fractions greater than one are like taking an extra slice from an extra pizza. See? Fractions greater than one are not so tough after all. With a bit of counting and a dash of curiosity, you can master this magic. Thanks for exploring with me today. Keep practicing and keep smiling, math explorers. Bye-bye. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell for notifications. See you next time for more math adventures. Thanks for watching.